preps and welcome to some more learning for <laughs> he growled oh. <laughs> this is getting very difficult preps to try and teach animals in the classroom particularly a tiger i cannot believe there's a tiger here you know what happens when students stay away for too long then the classroom gets flooded with all the wildlife animals. comes back <laughs> wildlife comes in so now we have a tiger, so you'll just have to bear with me. Just don't get don't get too bitey, okay? Yes. That's all I ask. Alrighty, we're going to do some word building today. Now, you'll have this in your take-home pack. And on this page, we've got lots of word families. That's what they're called, word families. And then on this side, we've got lots of starting sounds. Now, they're all sounds that we've learnt so far, so that's the good thing. What I thought we could do today is just spend a little bit of time practising how we would sound out those word families and how we can use that to help us to work out words so actually you know what i'm going to take them down straight away because they are in the way and they're distracting me okay so over on this side you can see that i've put a lot of different word families not all of the ones on the page that you've got but just a sample of them now the thing with word families is that they are two sounds but we're going to blend them together quite quickly so they become a word family and then we can change the starting sound that we use with them. So let's have a look at this one because we've just learned about the letter M. So we haven't used this in our word families yet. Now we know that A makes an A sound and we know that M makes a M. So what we're going to do is we're going to push those sounds together really carefully. A M, A M, A M. Now, once I've learned that word family, I don't need to learn it again. I just keep making the sound am. Instead of a, m, mm, I'm just going to say am. So I've pushed those sounds together. Now, I'm going to test out some words with it. I'll pop this down out of the way. All right. P am, pam. Ooh, is that a word? It's actually short for Pamela, mm -hmm. the name but maybe not a word that we would use. Oh, I don't know if we want to include that one. What about if we try another one? Oh, I think this might be another name. Oh, I think it is. Sam. Sam. So you can see that I'm still keeping that, that word family, am, there. I don't need to keep working it out. So I've got Sam. Sam. Now, Ooh. I could even try this. Am. Fam. Oh, it's like short for family. Not really a word, but Ooh, I'm having a really good time. I was thinking, practicing. oh, I wanted to see what the J would make, Mrs. Mac. Oh, let's try. So remember, we've got am here. J, am, jam. <gasps> jam. That was on our J page, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, that's good. Now, what if I swap it to a sound at the beginning? So remember, we've still got am. That hasn't changed. So we will still make that word family there. Am, ham, ham. Oh, do you like ham on your sandwich? Oh, I do like a bit of ham. And, oh, here we go. Sometimes if you're banging around, you might make this sound. So we've got am, and now we're going to put a b in front. Bam, b, am. So it goes bam. Yeah, that's a word. We'll pop that down there. Let's try a different word family now. Another letter we've been learning about this week was the letter F, wasn't it? Mm. So what we could do is we could try and use F as different starting sounds. So we tried F there. Now here, I've got et, 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 all right? Now if I put my f in front, now that I know that word family, fet, fet. Is that a word? Ba -bong. Let's go down here. All right, here's a different word family. I've got i and n. So let's try and work that bit out first. I, n, in, in. Okay, now that I know it, I don't need to stretch that out again. So that's in. Now I'm going to put the f in front. F in, f in, fin. Is fin a word? Mm. Well, a crazy, scary fish had lots of Ooh, fins. Lots of flappy fins. Now this one, we've got a different word family here. We've got ed, 
ed, ed. All right, now we've worked it out. We don't need to stretch that part out again. We've got it, ed. Let's put a f in front. F ed, fed. Is fed a word? Yeah, I like to be well fed. <laughs> I may be a little too well fed, <laughs> especially in <laughs> lockdown. <Yeah. laughs> All right, we've got a different word family here. Now this one we've got ah, uh, mm. so two sounds, ah, uh, mm. un, un. So that's our word family, the un word family. Let me try and put the f in front, f un, f un, f un. Can you hear it? It's the word fun. That's a real word. Now we could try something else. What about if I did... Da, 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 da. Mrs. Ballard likes to oh, make these sometimes. I do. P un. Pun. It's like a funny little joke. A pun. Generally not very funny, except for Mrs. Ballard thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then, this could be very yummy. We've got a b, b, un, bun. Do you like to eat a nice sweet bun? Yum. Then we might have this one. And we've still got un. I don't need to work it out. I've worked it out. That bit's done. I'm just changing the starting sound. S, un, sun, sun. That's a word, isn't it? We like nice sunny days. So hopefully, perhaps you're getting the hang of how we can build words. And the most important part is when you've got your word family page, Practice making the sounds on these first. That's the most important job. Before you start cutting these bits out and putting them in front to see if they make a word. Let's try one here. If I hold that up just like that, I can see the and over here I can see ot, ot, hot. So stretching out those words nice and slowly for your word building. Once you've made the words using these, now if you've got magnetic letters at home, you might like to use those instead. And once you've made some real words, we'd love to see you write them into your books. And if you'd like to send us a photo of what you've done, that'd be great.